Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We're pretty much in between storm systems right now across the Intermountain West, but the next one's already lined up 3.8 through 3.11, hitting Montana, Idaho, Wyoming first, and then Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico after that, and it will probably last into early 3.11 in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. It's colder. It's a more potent storm system. Um, all these storms then are rolling up into the northeast, but there's a serious rain-snow line issue up there that will continue probably all the way through the 16th, where these storms are just running into warmer air, cutting down on overall totals. And I'll show you what I'm thinking with that here in a sec, but here's the current state of affairs. This is Wolf Creek in Colorado, two feet of snow in the last three days really good conditions and you're probably you're gonna add at least another foot maybe foot and a half with this next storm system Wednesday Thursday in Colorado a couple of passing snow showers here up at Loveland ski area and you can see the lift running up to the top of the continental divide maybe another inch of accumulation there and a beautiful day at steamboat in the northern mountains of Colorado um, I mean you've got a, probably another 10 to 12 coming between Wednesday and Thursday so that's another place to to look at for this week in Colorado let me just show you the pattern here's water vapor um, satellite the pattern is amplified way up into Alaska and then it's dipping down across the west and then up into the northeast so I mean there are multiple storms here one there one there another one here and then one up into the northeast so the issue is um, basically this is sending energy up over the top of the ridge grabbing cold air and then what it's going to do is it's going to plunge south and this is our next storm system all of this energy right here will become our next storm system across the west it's colder like i was saying this and you know, this large activity this this trough of low pressure becomes a significant pattern builds a significant pattern into the pacific northwest bc and banff um, down the road and I'll show you some big totals for that area coming up once that sets up into the Pacific Northwest it's going to be a pretty significant pattern all right let's go into the GFS here this is what it thinks is going to occur let me take you into Tuesday morning They're already starting to see some of that light snow drop down into Montana Idaho and Wyoming that's the leading edge of our next storm system so there's Tuesday morning here's Wednesday morning snow hits the rest of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and then by that afternoon, that night into Thursday morning, it's in northern New Mexico. Um, here's the morning of the 10th. Here's the morning of the 11th, and it's moving out at that point. All right, so behind it, there is some brief high pressure, but that next storm system already hits the Pacific Northwest right there, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoons. Here's Sunday morning, the 13th of March and the north the pacific northwest banff bc the northern tier states idaho montana already getting uh, additional snow here are my totals we'll do them in two different phases for the west all of today through the 11th um i've got six seven eight nine ten inches rough roughly for the wasatch may have to bring those numbers up just a touch i've got seven right there might have to bring them closer to eight nine ten we'll see um, and the Tetons, 10 to 12, probably 6 there through Bridger Bowl and Big Sky. And Colorado, 8 to 12 will do it for most of the central to northern mountains, but maybe more in southwest and southern Colorado. Wolf Creek could be pushing a foot and a half, and really good numbers on the way for Taos, Ski Santa Fe, and Angel Fire. And then notice what happens here with Phase 2, a complete shift in the storm track to the Pacific Northwest, to Banff, B.C., northern Idaho and northwest Montana. Some pretty good numbers potential here, potentially on the way for Baker and Stevens Pass and Whistler up in Revel, Stoke, Marmot Basin, Sunshine Village, and Fernie. Um, so that runs through the 16th. Here is the northeast. And the numbers are low, and they're low because of what I was alluding to earlier with the rain snow line just being such a problem. These storms are just running into such warm air. Um, you might be able to squeeze out 7 through JP, but keep in mind, this runs all the way through the 16th, so this is a long period of time for the Northeast. Um, let me just end on this. So my totals for this next storm system here across the West, again, for the best powder, look to the Tetons, look through Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, look to um, the Wasatch. And again, those numbers might creep up a little bit. We'll see. And look to Colorado. You know, I like Steamboat. I like Aspen Snowmass again. I like Southwest Colorado and, of course, Wolf Creek in the northern New Mexico looks to be one of the bullseyes with this next storm system as well. So there you go. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. Have a good day, and we'll, we'll do another update later.